as a farmer, I want to ask you whether this thing is true. We are Africans, we understand our terrain more. If people who are not from Africa come to Africa, perhaps to do research, they may have the peripheral understanding of the underlying factors. But because we are in Africa, working in Africa, we seem to relate more with the situation on ground than people coming from outside Africa to carry out research. And we, ha we will be in a better position to tell the story. If the rain, rain can come anytime, but the uh, my research is on climate uh, and how that affects agriculture, agricultural production. Essentially, um, we know that climate is changing; it's obvious, and that uh, many uh, agricultural activities we have to adjust to the changing climate, and that will affect what we now call climate smart agriculture. Climate smart agriculture because agriculture has to have adapt to changing climate issues and essentially that's what my research is on modeling uh, climate variables uh, rainfall distribution on various aspects of agriculture livestock crop production fisheries and forestry reduce the effect of uh, yeah, shortage yeah. of rain yeah, on your yeah farm. because uh, the best is, is uh, uh, the second project is a project that uh, is based in Africa for African researchers. Um, is sponsored by Edifid in collaboration with the Association of Commonwealth University and the African Academy of Sciences. Uh, it's a program that helps uh, researchers in Africa to work in Africa. So I'm. A research fellow from the University of Badon, Nigeria, but I'm here in, in, in Ghana uh, carrying out my research in, uh, in Kwame Nkrumah University uh, as my base. And that opportunity uh, uh, wouldn't have been there if we didn't have SECO program. And I have other colleagues uh, working from um, uh, in other parts of, of Africa, East Africa, uh, West Africa. South Africa, so it's, 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 it promotes South-South cooperation within Africa, unlike most postdoctoral programs that tends to take people out of Africa. I'm in technology management, but with specialty in uh, energy planning and system modeling. My research in um, circle involves climate change, actually looking at uh, low carbon uh, development strategy in the power sector for West Africa to assess what level of uh, emission there is and then what are the um, intervention steps that can be taken to reduce the emission over the coming years. The West African sub-region, looking at the indices of development, is the, one of the least developed energy consuming countries in the world. Going forward, everybody wants to develop. There is a need to increase the capacity for the electricity sector to support the economy in a sustainable manner. And based on that, I felt there will be the concern for global climate change. There would necessarily be increase in emission. It will explode. And what are the options in the type of emission that you are expecting? Research funding uh, is, is, is not too encouraging in this part of the world. Um, uh, researches are not funded in the direction of uh, particularly energy and climate change. So coming to CIRCLE, uh, it's, it's uh, helped me and it's given me confidence in being able to conduct my research. Uh, CIRCLE has uh, enabled me to be part of the global community. Uh, in the next couple of days, I'll be traveling to the U.S. to attend a conference uh, in the System Dynamics Society uh, in Boston. And if SACU had not funded that, it, might, it would have been difficult for me to get such a funding to do that. And thirdly, you discover I'm in Kumasi. I'm not in Nigeria. I'm in an atmosphere where 
um, and devoid of the distractions that uh, will normally have uh, trilled this kind of work I'm doing, having to take care of the family, having to take care of so many things. But here I just concentrate, um, let me say about 80-90% of the time on my research. So SACU has only done that by giving me funding to be able to achieve that. I've, I've uh, had an article already accepted for publication under this project. I hope at the end of the whole project, I'll be able to bring out two or three papers which will be published in international journals. Um, well, SACU, what SACU had done is that it has uh, invigorated my level of research and my ability to be able to do uh, a, a, a deeper, I'll put a deeper level research than what I would have naturally done if I was not in SACO project. For the Energy Center, since we started our activities in 2006, Dr. Momodo is our first uh, postdoc fellow. And from the expertise he has in the modeling of energy related uh, technologies and economics, we found this application to be very useful for our activities here because we lack in that area of expertise. Therefore, his coming here has been so useful to us. And uh, we have two other students, post, uh, master students, who are to understudy him to be very familiar with the modeling aspect of his research so that after he is gone, we can also work in this area successfully. He has introduced us to Obafemi Awolowo University and also he has just made a contact with University of Ibadan so that we could establish a collaboration in the area of energy research. It is very important that we collaborate mostly with uh, universities in uh, sub-Saharan Africa countries because most of our activities have been with the universities in the north, that's uh, European universities. We haven't had any relationship with African University as such. Our condition, our problems are similar. Therefore, if we can do collaboratory research with amongst African countries, we can replicate the results within our countries since the conditions are almost the same. One of the major things we are thinking, we hope. Uh, my, myself and my colleague in this is that um, postdoc you will discover is not common in Africa, sub Saharan Africa is not. And uh, coming here has opened uh, a lot of uh, um, room for such to take place. And if KNUST is able to take up this type of uh, uh, platform and develop on it, and not only KNUST, all the SACU uh, operating universities, they take, they take it up. It means that it will become very easy for South-South collaboration to take place instead of the South-North that prevails now. And if the South-South um, um, relationship in research and training begins to blossom, what will come out of it is that we'll have a deeper, more, more um, um, locally accepted output of research than we, we, we have presently.